Did everybody forget? Did everybody forget like a month ago when we got some Amania Gracilis in? I don't think you did. But if you did, just in case, or maybe you never watched that video, uh, here it is in super fast forward of planting the Amania Gracilis. As you can see, it is bright green. The leaves are round. It's kind of a goofy looking plant, even though it is cool grown this way. As a quick explanation, the plants are grown at the farm up above the water, and they will grow in a different form once they've been growing underwater. Boom. Goes the dynamite. Boom. Goes the underwater grown form. It has achieved... It's underwater form, and as you can see here, there are a little bit of the immersed grown leaves at the very bottom of the plant still. And today we gotta trim those off and replant the remaining of, of what's left over, the remaining, the top part. By doing this, we're gonna promote the growth of that very specific top of the plant that has been growing underwater that we want to continue to propagate. So. Oftentimes, this is referred to as a propagation method. I may or may not refer to it as the replanting, as the update, as the whatever is going on with this plant, right? And hopefully this helps you out if you're somebody who's newer to the planted aquarium or an old timer out there and you don't do this for some reason. This is how you get real display looking plants after uh, a couple of months of doing this. Uh, you will get to the point where, hey, my plants look like the way that they're supposed to look. When I do an internet Google search and I look up the plants and people post a picture of how nice their plants look, this is how you do it. All right, now that we got it figured out when you're going to do it, how often are you going to be doing this? You're going to be doing this every couple of weeks. There's just no ifs, ands, or buts around it. Uh, your plants will overgrow. They'll eventually get too big, too shaggy, too long, and do things that uh, are not going to look exactly like with an air quote aquascape around it. You're going to have to get on this about every two weeks, maybe three weeks, maybe a month, but eventually... The plants will overgrow and it will not have the aesthetic that you're looking for. And that's just the reality of the world. If you have a garden, you're going to have to trim it and take care of it and weed it and do all those things. And this is an underwater garden, so you're going to have to do that yourself. Uh, I will include a little bonus in here, which is uh, some of the Heternanthera zoisterifolia. Zoisterifolia? <laughs> we call it stargrass. Uh, it's much easier to come... You know, just call it stargrass. Uh, exact same thing has got to happen with this plant too. It's just really across the board kind of thing. There's a there are some plants out there that you don't have to trim that I would call air quote low maintenance uh, that you don't really have to do much with. But that's not really the plants that uh, I deal with that often in uh, YouTube videos. Most of those plants, there just isn't much of a video to make about them because you don't really have to do anything with them. They just put them in the water and leave them alone like Anubias and uh, most of those varietals and things we can just leave them and let them do their thing
Planting and replanting does seem tedious and time consuming, but the reality is that this is sort of the meditative process of, you know, having an aquarium and taking care of it and having a good aquascaped aquarium. This needs to happen in order for it to be a very beautiful aquarium, but also this is sort of my meditation time, going ahead to, to uh, plant everything, get everything trimmed, kind of figure out and establish what's going on with the aquarium, uh, what's going on with the plants, how am I going to propagate, promote them, and all that stuff. Replanting is as simple as just basically stuffing it into the substrate. It's really not that difficult, but what one of the tips that I would give you is that I start with the longest ones in the back, the shortest ones in the front. That is going to make it much easier for you. And as you can see here in the video, I'm actually working left to right because in this instance, I'm having to use my right hand from the angle that I'm having to get into the tank and it's making it much easier to go that direction and not run over my work uh, by going right to left. You know what I'm saying? So simple as that. It's sort of like filling out a piece of paper, except, you know, the, the lines drawn aren't perfectly straight. <laughs> Uh, but all the long pieces are going to the back, the shorter pieces are going to the front, and as they grow up, they'll stay in that, uh, you know, taller in the back, shorter in the front, make it kind of look like a, you know, a picture from uh, elementary school or something like that, and uh, it makes it make sense so you can see everybody's lovely, shiny faces out there, right? Um, and I'm, I mean that in the plant varietal. Yes. The plants, right? Uh, Amani gracilis will kind of grow unruly if you're not uh, really on top of it. Um, it is just one of those plants that will grow up to the top of the water. Uh, so, like I was saying earlier, every couple of weeks it's a good idea to do this, and this will really give you that aquascape look that you are seeing online from people's uh, fancy, fancy pictures and stuff like that. So, hopefully, this little weekend tip helped you out. If not, hit the dislike button if it helped you out hit the like button and uh get wild out there kids because the like button shall be engaged or not i don't know we'll, uh, we'll find out we'll find out uh thanks for tuning in i will uh talk with y'all at a later date Open up the sky for me When you say I'll dig much deeper I will shout